Hi everybody, I wanted to do a walkthrough on the Princess hmm, collection from Graphic 45. I made a folio and it is, oops, sorry about that, eight and a half by eight and a half. And my spines are about one inch. So the front, I've um, put a magnetic closure there, and I uh, did some flowers with the Heartfelt Creations flowers. I bumped up these stamps to coordinate with the ones that are on that front page. Um, bumped them up with some uh, foam pieces. And the spines are the same. And then the back, I just kept um, plain. So we open it. Now I had some troubles with this, and in video three, um, the end of video two, and video three explains what happened. But I will touch base on that right now. So in this section here, I had an additional panel. It was this one and it was attached there so if you decide to make this album please eliminate that right hand side don't even bother putting it on there it's just too bulky what I should have done is created a gusset on these here to allow room for that I did not and there was no more for me to go back in and rescore that um, I didn't notice it until I started decorating and by then it was too late so what I ended up doing was putting ribbon under here and ribbon under here. So if you do make that, make sure you lay that ribbon down. I do have magnets in there. Unfortunately, they are not enough to hold it um, down. So this I ended up cutting out, and you will see that in video um, three. You'll see me cut that out and explain that. So you have room for your pictures here and here. Uh, these will not hold a 4x6, but like you can see in this one here, there's um, oops, ample room on a lot of pictures to um, do additional cutting down. So um, that's what you would do here. This has two tags, chocolate on the back, pink on the front, the same here. You have room for some smaller photos here. I'll tie that up later. Now these, this folio is um, does have some chipboard right in your uh, sides there to add a little stability. This is, because of all the paper and stuff, this is very thick. So if we go to the center, we have a, a tag here that I created for this screen. And here I added just some of the little tags I cut out and I glued them together to create a, a bottom area here to hold my tag. It just slides right out of there, just like that. Um, I didn't do the tags with you on video three, but you can see these now. Um, this is from Scrap Queen, as I described in the thing. It was an idea I got from her. She had got it from somebody else, but she did not say who. So I've just added some additional little flaps here. These will hold a 4x6 perfectly. That is why I did not decorate these. Each one of these will hold a 4x6. And I added just these little flips here that were the tags cut out of the thing. And that is in the video. And on this side, you have two more. I'll do the same thing. Now this has an additional one, two, three pockets, okay? And I did make the tags for these. I just uh, put together just my pieces to use those up. And the sizes of these are, they're all seven and three quarters wide. You have a five and five eighths which is your shortest one. You have a six inch, which is your middle one, and a six and three eighths, which is your back tag. And that allows you enough room to grab a hold of those. 
And I did two with the chocolate brown. Oops, I gotta pull that off. Two with the chocolate brown and two with the pink. So. All right, so that's those three tags there. Small, medium, and large. So that takes care of that. Now on our right side, I added a little, just glued this uh, tag on the corner here. A couple of little pieces. Used the rest of the stamps that I had left. Glued some of my flowers on there. This is an additional pocket with a tag. And the tags are made from Graphic 45's. Um, die and I just cut them narrower. That's how I got that. And this folds open like this. So you have three panels. Oops, sorry. You have three panels here. One, two, three. And then when you go this way, you have an additional three panels this way. This is actually the front of your book, so you will not want to put anything on that. See? That's the front of your book, just like that. That is... <clears throat> it on this um, folio. It's a nice folio and like I said the only problem I had was that area over here and if you eliminate that right side there you shouldn't have any problems. Um, but yep it was just that right side panel that gave me all those headaches and then because of the still the thickness of everything um, I added the ribbon just to make sure. So I'll tie that up in a minute. This is the only scraps I had left from my pieces was this. And I had five and a half sheets of the eight by eight pack left. So I have enough to do maybe a, a small folio and I'll do a video on that because I'm I like the paper. It's beautiful paper. So that is all the scraps I have left. Of course, I probably had a little more without this, but we'll use, maybe I'll use this in something in my next one. Maybe I'll incorporate that in that so it's not a waste. But I hope you uh, like my video and want to follow along. There's three parts to this. And if you do like it and want to follow along, then please subscribe to my channel. If you do decide to subscribe to my channel, please hit that bell so you can be notified each time I put up a new video. And a thumbs up is always appreciated. Until I get back with you next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.